What's up everybody, we're back in the Stoke and Strength Centre. Today we are prepping for Britain's Strongest Man. We have the Axel Clean and Press, which is one of the events at Britain's. So we've set up, we've weighed the wooden wheels that we've got. 14 kg. 14 kilos each. So a total that is 65 kilos are set up. We've got the mirror fit pads that we're going to drop on, roll it off. So we've got one set. Five plus reps. Yeah. Five minimum for reps and then We'll see how we feel. We've still got a few weeks to go. The reason we're not using the solid wheels either is because there's 70 aside, so you think 70 and 70, 140 plus of our, that's 170k, which mm -hmm. is too much for Britain's solid man. So that's why we've got these, and we're going to try it. That was funny, that's what that. <laughs> The wheels are 70 kilos plus the bar equals too much for Britain's strongest man. So there you go, that's, that's some quick maths there. Um, and we've got a grip shirt today as well we're going to try. So see how that goes. Um, <laughs> we can't say who gave us a grip shirt, but you know who it is. Thank you very much. This is a series to Britain's strongest man, Arrow Classic and the world's strongest man. If you're enjoying it, don't forget to give it a little like. Drop a comment because we love to re read the comments and reply to some of them. Only the nice ones because we don't like trolls. And give us a thumbs up. Stay spicy. So, as you know, I've had issues with the shoulder. Thankfully, that shoulder pain is really disappearing. Um, I'm kind of doing my warm ups, my mobility stuff, really throwing everything in. So, obviously, the Squat University, having Sean Clark as our mobility coach, really is um, helping an awful lot. I guess it's right to do some warm ups and some mobility because it does um, help with injury prevention rather than have the cure for the injuries when it happens. So if we can prevent the injuries, that's half the battle. So that's what we're trying to do. Big Tommy's doing his warm-ups. Get our shoulders nice and mobile, nice and ready for the presses. And that's all we can do. So hopefully we will be unscathed coming into Britain's Strongest Man, ready to take a one and two Stoltman podium. Because nothing else matters. Nobody else matters. Well, they do, because we love you all. Anyway, you know what I mean? As Luke said, run you through some warm-ups. Luke is obviously, with his shoulder injury, trying to not, you know, maintain that and not get it worse. He's obviously with Scott University working with that. I'm just trying to open up some on my shoulders and stretch the lats and the shoulders so I can get it nice and warmed up. So I'll say three on this side. Yeah, this is from Sean, so any, if you want to use any of these exercises that we're doing, there's a YouTube video that we've done with Sean that covers this and a lot of different other movements for your whole body, so. Yeah, so let me get back onto my warm-ups and I'll see you later. Oh. See, I just go through the same, I don't know the technical terms of them, but I've got a band. I'm just pulling my arms apart, holding for a couple of seconds, relaxing, doing it again. Relaxing. I'm just trying to warm the, the shoulder joint up, cover it from all angles. So I'll do one here, one about 45 degrees, and then one straight above my head. Um, and that seems to really help. Then I'll do some mobility stuff, what Tom's just done, and then I'm good to go. So I think I was too pig headed before to kind of realize that this type of stuff actually does work and it is very important to do. So um, I would recommend, you know, anyone out there that's starting off or it's even not like, not even starting, but even at a more intermediate level. I've been doing it for a couple of years. Do it, do your mobility, do your stretches. Um, it's all out there, you know, like Sir Tom says, Sean Clark, he puts out videos on his YouTube channel. Squat University obviously does it free of charge as well. He sh has so much information. He also has a book out as well, which is full of every stretch you could possibly want. So I would say really invest in that and keep doing that. and your body will be a lot better than mine when you get to my age. Do that. That's too thick. I mean, just, just, just pulse it, just do like two seconds off, two seconds off. Oh, you can feel that on your shoulder. Yeah.
Why are you using the wooden plates? In Britain's Strongest Man, they have the, the wagon wheels or the axle wheels. So this will be the height that we'll be setting off at. So it's just to get that feel. Before, we weren't able to generate that much power, um, which was annoying. So hopefully this will, it's more of a true rep representative of what we're actually going to be offering at Britain's Strongest Man, as opposed to what we were doing previously, which wasn't wasn't a true reflection so hopefully this will help us a little bit more um, and it will feel more like the actual competition environment so we'll see what happens when we get up to 150. I missed my belly and hit my, hit my heart. I hit it here, it's a good sign, but holy crap, didn't you expect that, boys? Eh? <laughs> oh, I need a cardiac arrest. Oh, jeez. Still a little bit sleepy, Sarah. We're on our working sets. Need to, I need to bring the pain for this last set. Do you know how I bring the pain? Oh. By drinking a tin of rain. Let's get painful. I feel the need, the need for pain. Okay. So, guys, that's us to 150 kilograms. So, yeah, 150 for a minimum of five. And uh, we'll take it from there. Let's do this. Hey guys, so that's the working set done, 150 for 5, uh, so much better this week. The axle we're using is a lot more grippy, so, so the narrowing is a lot more prominent, so that's really good. Um, and then the grip shirt does make a huge difference as well, it just catches it, rather than uh, the axle bar slipping down on the cotton, it just catches it and it yeah, feels so much better. My breathing's still a little bit off, I had a little bit of a sniffle over the weekend, but really happy to get that 5 reps. Pressing felt really easy, no problem there. So I think come, yeah, seven, eight reps, I think on the day um, will be good. Um, really excited for us. That was that was actually a better uh, session for us. Um, Tom looked really comfortable. Um, again, both of us were struggling last week, so we were kind of questioning whether or not it's our strength that's um, an issue. Thankfully it's not, uh, so nice easy five reps, 
and yeah, on to the next exercise. Also guys, as you can see, the setup we did is totally different than we've been doing other weeks. Um, yeah, like Luke said, questioning if it was us being strong enough or was it just a setup and get the setup. You know, we said we want to use a different answer this week and get the wooden wheels on it. But this much easier that one so I felt very comfortable for myself, very comfortable for Luke. We woke up feeling the greatest neighbor, so no more peaking three weeks time. I think eight to ten minutes will win this and that will be all of us. So let's see what happens and then uh, the reason we're doing rep stuff as well. You know, you see a lot of people on social not doing two or three reps and we get 160, 170 reps. Well, this is a rep event for a reason. 150 as many reps as possible in a minute, a minute and a half. You know, you put 150 on and try it for a minute or try 160 for three reps and tell me what one's hardy. You'll, you know, you'll know yourself a minute of constant repping out of 150. So this is why we do this to get our endurance up. We had five this week. It'll be six plus next week. And then the last week will probably be about seven. And then that's us. So it's getting our endurance up. It's getting us fit. And so many good pressers in that. And I think everybody in that competition can compress a 150 axle, but can they clean it six or seven times is the, is the question. So yeah, feel good, feel much better, and has a confidence booster. What's the next exercise, Tom? Uh, next exercise is incline barbell press. Again, I don't, don't exactly know the reps of it, but I think it'll be three sets of maybe five to six reps, just as maybe RP of eight. So maybe like one, 130, 140, I might go a bit heavier this week. I feel better, so we'll see what happens. Eh? We'll see what happens. Today our working set is going to be uh, 130, so 130 on the bar. Big Tommy, if you just wait for me to go and spot him. I'll just nip in. What's up? Thank you, Minifit, for all the plates. Yeah, they're so pretty. Look at them. We have yellow, blue, red, and green. That's the color of the rainbow. The rainbow. Unicorn is the national anthem of love Scotland. So thank you, Mirafet, for giving us all these plates. Check them out. When you use real weights, it's harder. When you use calibrated weights, it actually feels like the weight you're lifting. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. 
Job done, happy. That's good to get a good setup on the app, so 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 much better, much more comfortable this year than it was yeah, every other time. So we got the setup nailed. So three more weeks of just doing that, and boom, yeah. easy, easy. Even the incline press is now feeling good now. It's uh, I was like one thirty for sets of eight. Felt really light, didn't it? So um, everything's moving in the right direction, which is good. Um, you know, I've had stress now of people coming up to film and stuff, so it's just constant three weeks of just uh, training to snow, which is going to be good as well. So. I think we're both guilty. You've probably seen it before as well. But we do get quite frustrated with training sometimes, if because we expect. You know, the best. We've we got a very high standard to set, Tom and myself. So when we're not hitting those standards, we do get frustrated, we do get annoyed, and we do show you that. You know, we don't cut anything out when we're messing up. My logs messing up. Sometimes I get annoyed, um, but that just shows you. You know, you need to be consistent. You need to follow the process. You know, Dan sets us these um, programs, and they are extremely difficult sometimes, but we do hit it and. Um, I think that's the most important thing of being um, a world-class athlete is that we just be consistent and, and believe in the process. And so you get 90% of good sessions, 10% bad mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So believe in yourself. Don't get annoyed, or do get annoyed, because you need to accept that you can be better than you were yesterday. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you've learned a wee bit of why we do some, you know, mobility stretching before we start uh, pressing, and then why we do the certain accessory lifts to help us with the main lift, which today was axle. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and just stay spicy. Smile, stay safe, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.
Tschüss. Schon. <lacht>